Hello and welcome to day seven of Vlogtober here on planet Earth. <laughs> it's actually the afternoon. I just dropped something. Hold on. Um, yeah, it's actually now Wednesday afternoon. Um, and this is the first time I've picked up a camera. Oh, went a bit dark there. Just going to go and sit in the living room. Dan's making his lunch. I'm going to go and make mine. Um, it's Wednesday today. I work on Wednesdays, but I'm actually working from home today because um, it just worked out a lot better. I've not been feeling terribly well. My tummy's been a bit weird, so I'm better off at home, I think, and Dan's got a few meetings and things. So it just works out better that way. Um, yeah, but it's the first time I've picked up a camera all day because I've, been, I've got my head in to work as soon as I got back from the school run. And it's just been pretty intense. So I'm just going to have a bit of a break now and um, wind up a couple more minis for my advent swap that I'm doing with my friend. Um, we've done it every year for the past four years. So um, I'm nearly done. I've just got two more minis to wrap up. And I'm going to put some socks on. I'm going to put my crochet slipper socks on because my feet are cold. And I'm going to make some lunch and then I'm going to get stuck back into work for the rest of the afternoon. It all feels a bit relentless at the moment. I'm going to have to go and pick up Phoebe at about half past two because she comes out of school earlier than she would be normally, a full half hour earlier, um, because of COVID. Seems to be something we say a lot these days, because of COVID, <laughs> to explain the weird changes in things. Thank you for all your lovely comments on yesterday's video. I'm really, really glad you like the music. I've been saving that song up because I found I found that and I just really, really liked it. And I, I knew that I wanted to save it for a day when I was out and about in nature and it just really fitted yesterday. So I'm really glad you enjoyed that. And thank you to all the people who have left such lovely and positive and encouraging comments um, about Dan. It's really, he, do, he reads all the comments. He scans them looking for mentions of Dan fans. So um, it really, really does help to, to have your well wishes and things. So we'll get there. There's plenty of people in the same position as us at the moment, I'm afraid. It's um, it's it's life at the moment, isn't it? So, But he's got his head down today doing his studying. Mia, is this really dark? Let's see if I can play with the exposure. Is that any better? I think I'd accidentally turned the exposure down. So I was really dark there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so thank you for your lovely comments yesterday. And um, on the back of that, the song of the day today has been chosen by Dan. I've let him loose on the playlist. Do you want to tell them what it is since you chose it? He's just come in with his sandwich. Yes. Or his feast, actually. We've got a whole feast. What is the song of today? One of my favourite songs of all time. It's Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yeah. Prepare to mosh. Mosh! But not with knitting needles or crochet hooks <laughs> in your hand. It is dangerous. Please only mosh when it is safe to do so. Unless it's not so, you should do that like Boris Johnson. <laughs> uh, only wash. Maybe another day. Um, yes, so it smells like Team Spirit. I've put it on the playlist. Go and listen to it, mosh about the kitchen. I wanted to say thank you to Crochet Queen for linking to a video. I, she linked to a West Knits video of Stephen West and Friends. Um, it was a um, cover of Firework by Katy Perry, except he was singing You're a Knitter. And I've not seen it before, it was hilarious. So I, I pinned that comment to the top of yesterday's video if you want to go and watch that. So thank you for showing that, it really made me giggle. Uh, right, I'm gonna go and get my slipper socks and get them on, because my feet are cold. Oof. Oh my God, flinging my socks about. Table. The floor has been swept It's closing time and I'm a little tired It's a long time since I've slept The things are moving forward I'm ready to move on Heading for a brand new start At the break of dawn Here I come, you better watch out You better beware 
Nothing can stop me from going for gold. I'm out of the dark. I'm out of the cold. Here I come. You better watch out. You better beware. The rumor is out. Nothing can stop me from going for gold. I'm out of the dark. I'm out of the cold. Your hot shirt skis as if you can hear French in the background downstairs. His Duolingo which has reminded me I need to do mine today. Um, I thought, seeing as I haven't filmed much today, I might explain the pictures that are on the living room wall, because it's something I keep meaning to do. So we've got three prints, um, two of them are from the same person on Etsy. This one and this one. They're both from uh, White One Sugar on Etsy and then this one is from a different seller on Etsy but I can't remember who. So the reason why they are here, I'll turn around so you can get a good look at them. So Margate is uh, a coastal town in Kent and somewhere we've spent a lot of time over the years. It's just down the road from Westgate on Sea which we absolutely love. We've got the Tate, um, is it, what's it called, the Tate? Turner. Can't remember the name of the gallery that's there. Dan's just looking it up on his phone. But anyway, this view is very familiar to us and I've actually got a picture. So if you see, this is the harbour arm <coughs> here. The statue there is the Shell Lady. Um, there is a Shell Grotto in Margate that we've been to many times. It's such an interesting and unusual place. And those pink doors there very near there, there's a bench, it's not in this picture, a long purple bench. And I have taken pictures of the girls there at different points throughout the years. And I'll try and dig out one of my favorite pictures that I've taken, it's a combination of pictures, and put them on the screen now. I took a picture of Lilia there, and then a couple of years later, I took a picture of Lilia with her little sister. <laughs> So that's Margate, lots of happy memories in that picture. And funnily enough, that boat that's there, where it says R80, that boat really is there and it really does say R80. By the this, way, it oh, is the Turner Art Gallery. There you go, it's the Turner Art Gallery um, that's in Margate. It's gone under, um, there's been a lot of regeneration there recently, or over the past few years. This is a kind of tongue in cheek, um, holiday visitor poster advertising Dartford Crossing. <laughs> so we don't live very far from the Dartford Crossing at all. Um, and I remember it being built, the bridge. So this is the tunnel which you go through to get from Kent to Essex and the bridge you get um, from Essex to Kent. And I remember the bridge being built because I'm that old. So that's just a kind of tongue in cheek little tribute to the area near where we live. And then this is our newest one. It took me ages to decide what the third one was going to be, but we went for Ramsgate. It's another place that we absolutely love on the Kent coast. We visited there a few times and we have been uh, a couple of times to a cafe around about here. And on my birthday one year, we went to a cafe on this bit here and we had a glass of wine and it was a really, really hot day, which was funny because it was April. Um, so that's the story of the three pictures on the living room wall. I see the bad Overflowing <laughs> I hear 
voice of rage and we're in. So don't go around tonight Well it's bound to take your life There's a bad moon on the rise <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Oh, my fingers aren't working! So don't go around tonight Well it's bound to take your life There's a bad moon on the rise oh. Don't go around Tonight. My fingers too hot. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Yeehaw! Sweet <laughs> dogs! <laughs> I'm just dropping in really quickly to finish the vlog off um, and apologise for the last couple of minutes of footage. Is that? Oh, that's on the screen I'm looking at, it's not on the lens. I thought there was a mark. Um, yes, <laughs> I used to have ukulele lessons. I started in January, it was my New Year's resolution for this year <clears throat> to learn the ukulele. And I went to ukulele lessons every Thursday morning in January and February, and then lockdown. So I got two months and I loved those lessons. So I'm hoping once things get up and running again, I'll be able to go back. But in the meantime, I can play about six notes. <laughs> Um, I was just packing away some stuff and um, I picked up two very, very random leftover balls of yarn and realised how well they went together. I've got about 45 grams of each. This is Little French Meadow, Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. And this is Mrs S Creations Seascape. And together, don't they look lovely? And I'm wondering if there's a little shawl or cow or hat pattern knitted or crochet that anyone knows about that uses about 100 grams of fingering weight yarn that I could use these two in because I just thought they looked lovely together. So that's your homework. <laughs> that's your homework for tomorrow class. So I expect your answers on my desk by tomorrow. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to have some dinner. We're having just a simple pasta bake tonight and I'm going to have a bath. But I'm not going to wash my hair because I'm going swimming in the morning. So there's no point in washing my hair. I'll wash it after swimming. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. Here I come. You better watch out. You better beware. The rumor is out. Nothing can stop me.